Some metals can also displace hydrogen from water molecule in a metal-water displacement reaction. A very common example is the reaction of sodium with water. To perform this experiment, take a lump of sodium metal from its bottle and place it on a sheet of blotting paper. Blot away the paraffin oil from the sodium metal. Next, using a knife or spatula, cut off a tiny piece of the metal and using a clean and dry forcep, drop the piece of sodium into the beaker or trough containing water. Observe what happens. As soon as the sodium metal comes in contact with water, a violent reaction occurs. The sodium metal can be seen to randomly run around on the surface of the water while producing copious amounts of white smoke. At some point, the sodium metal may also be seen to start catching fire. The reaction proceeds as long as the sodium metal remains. Eventually, the metal shrinks in size, gradually disappears and the reaction stops. At the end of the reaction, if you dip a strip of red litmus paper into the water in the beaker, the red litmus is seen to turn blue. The reaction of sodium with water follows the chemical equation shown here. According to the reactivity series, sodium is much more reactive than the reference element hydrogen and is placed somewhere at the top of the series. This is the reason why sodium metal violently reacts with water. The smoke-like gas produced from the surface of the metal is hydrogen gas. The reaction also produces copious amounts of heat, so much so that the hydrogen gas, which is a highly flammable gas, may also ignite and the sodium metal appears to catch fire. The solution formed at the end of the reaction is sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base, also known as an alkali. Due to its basic nature, it turns red litmus blue. In this reaction, the more reactive sodium metal displaces the lesser reactive hydrogen from water molecule to form its hydroxide. The free hydrogen atoms combine among themselves to produce molecular hydrogen, which is released in the form of hydrogen gas.